I tend to take a lot of pictures when I'm traveling, so when I want to share some of my favorite photos with others, it can be very helpful if I'm organized right from the start. And so while I'm traveling, and in fact preferably at the end of each day, I like to go through that day's photos and identify my favorites. Lightroom includes several options for identifying favorite images. Those include pick flags, star ratings, and color labels. All of these options can be found on the photo menu. So when you're working with your images in the library module, for example, you could select an image and then go to the photo menu and choose either set flag, set rating, or set color label, followed by the desired option in order to add that attribute to the image. You can also right-click on any photo and then choose the exact same options from set flag, set rating, or set color label. But my preference is to utilize keyboard shortcuts. I typically navigate through my images using the film strip. So you can see I've already selected the first image on the film strip. And then I'll switch to the loop view so that I can see each image a little bit larger. Let's take a look at pick flags first. A pick flag essentially gives a yes or no decision to an image. Is it a picked image? Is it an unpicked image, which implies you've simply not reviewed it yet? Or is it a rejected image? The keyboard shortcuts are P for a pick flag, U to unpick or remove a pick flag from an image, and X to mark an image as rejected. So this image, for example, is not anything terribly special, but it's an interesting skyline, so perhaps I would press P to mark it as a picked image. This image is perhaps a little bit too dark and not all that interesting, so perhaps I might reject it by pressing the letter X to reject that image, to add a reject flag. And then I can continue navigating among my images using the arrow keys on the keyboard to decide which images will be picked and which images will be rejected. Another option is star ratings, and with star ratings, we're essentially giving a qualitative evaluation to an image. So, is an image just okay, or is it very, very good? We can use the numbered keys on the keyboard in order to add a star rating. A number one will assign a one star rating, two will assign a two star rating, three will assign three stars, and so on, all the way up to a total of five stars. If you want to remove a star rating, you can simply press the number zero for zero stars. So let's assume this image might get a two star rating, and this one I like the framing a little bit better, so maybe I'll give it a three star rating, and so on. So I can continue assigning star ratings to my images, with my very best images getting a five star rating, and perhaps my not so good images getting a one star rating, with various levels in between, obviously. We can also use color labels, and those are red, yellow, green, blue, and purple, and they don't actually have any inherent meaning, so you can actually assign your own meaning if you want to identify images in a particular way. For example, if I capture multiple images that are intended to be part of a single image, for example with high dynamic range imaging or perhaps a composite panorama, I'll assign a yellow color label to identify those images as being part of a set. You might also assign a red color label, for example, to images you intend to use in a particular project. The color labels can be assigned also with numbers on the keyboard, with 6 being the red color label, 7 being yellow, 8 being green, 9 being blue, and purple, unfortunately, does not have a keyboard shortcut, so that one you'll need to choose from the menu. So you can see there's several options, and you might approach your images in a variety of different ways. If you tend to make an absolute yes or no decision about a photograph, and whether you're going to keep it or use it, then you might want to use pick flags. If you want to be able to sort your images so that the favorites show up on top, for example, then you might want to use star ratings. And if you tend to have a small number of projects going on at any time, and you can identify a color value to have a specific meaning, then you might want to use color labels. One other option that you might want to take advantage of, if you've decided to use just a single one of these options, either pick flags, star ratings, or color labels, is the auto advance feature. From the menu, we can choose Photo and then Auto Advance, and now whenever I assign an attribute, either a pick flag, a star rating, or a color label to the current image, Lightroom will automatically advance to the next image. So let's assume I add a pick flag to this image. I'll press the letter P on the keyboard. That image gets a pick flag, and Lightroom advances to the next image. The basic concept of pick flags, star ratings, and color labels is quite simple. 
and yet these powerful little features make it very easy to identify your favorite images so that you can share them online or through other methods with friends, family, and clients.